post. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a quick basic guide on how to play postscript in an infantry tutorial. We're going to start with the basics. Stay tuned because we'll cover more advanced stuff in the future. We'll start with the essentials. First things first, ranging your weapon. You range your weapon by holding down the X key and scrolling your mouse wheel up or down. Personally, I've never been a big fan of iron sights, so a little trick what I do, I set my sights to 200 meters. That way, I'm always can kind of see my target better. I just aim a little low if they're close. And that way, I'm always ready to pop a far shot. Say you see an enemy start streaking in the distance, you don't have to take that second or two to set your range. You're ready to pop a shot off at 200 meters, 300 meters, whatever it may be. Next is bipoding weapons. If your weapon has a bipod, you can deploy it when prone or on objects by pressing the C key. This goes for machine guns, browning automatic rifles, Keep in mind, you can also brace these machine guns and BARs on trees, vertical trees, or um, a friendly soldier that's kneeled in front of you. Also, while we're on this topic, you need to know about bracing your weapon. Say if you're fatigued and your stamina is low, you can brace your weapon for better accuracy on objects around you. And all that consists of is putting your weapon like onto a tree or near a wall, something like that. You'll see a little bipod icon show up in the bottom right of your screen and it shows that your brace and your accuracy will vastly improve whether you're fatigued or not. And now for melee. Most weapons can attach a bayonet to the end of the barrel, even some SMGs, and you do that with the same button as bipod, the C key. Once in the ready, you hold down the melee key to pull your rifle back to your side, then release it to stab forward. Usually this is done with, in conjunction with sprinting. You hold down the shift key to sprint, hold down the mouse 3 to get it ready, and then while you're sprinting, you find your target a couple feet in front of you, release, and he will stab forward and one hit kill your enemy. Right now, the character's on screen stamina is shown in the bottom right. It's orange and really low on the bar. That means he's not gonna be able to shoot accurately. Your stamina will naturally regenerate but in this situation, I'm clearly on a suicide mission across the pontoon bridge. But let's say I wasn't, and I was just in a field preparing for an attack. You can um, accelerate the regeneration of your stamina by drinking from your canteen, by selecting it from your in inventory and holding down the left mouse button. You can also press 6 to cycle through until you get to your canteen. So now for your radio. First off, you can hold down V to speak locally, and that's about a 50 meter radius or less. Then, you can hold down B to speak to your section members. That's all nine of your squad members can hear you, including your squad leader. Then, of course, if you are the squad leader, you hold down G to speak to the other squad leaders and commander. Rallies are going to be your squad's primary spawn location. A section leader can place rallies to create spawn locations for him or his subordinates using the T menu. In order for a rally to be placed, the squad leader must be near the radio man. And if the ra radio man isn't nearby, it must be two other section members. And an uh, enemy must not be within 50 meters of you or the rally will not work. Once the rally is placed, the spawn point will be shown on the map with a timer beneath it which indicates how long it'll take until it gets disabled. The section leader can extend its lifetime by refreshing it via the T menu and being close to a radio, fob, or another section's radio. There are also team-wide spawn locations such as mobile spawn point trucks, also known as MSPs, which are located at the main base, or forward operating bases which can be constructed by the logistics session, also known as FOBs or FOBs. Next, I'm going to show you some gameplay where I lead a squad and I'll have some commentary giving out some tips and tricks.
Real quick, the Postscript and Devs have blessed me with three game keys to give away to my viewers. So if you have some friends that want the game, definitely tell them to tune in. April 23rd, Chapter 3 in Normandy releases. Go ahead. Uh, keep marking that Watch the guys are We're coming in now. My squad mates just did a great job and cleared that house over in the west there. Alright, keep control of that house. I'm gonna get on this shed and use my binos. Which house? The house in the west that was on our move mark. Just keep contr keep oh, control yeah. of it. Oh yeah, it took We're gonna be from the south and the west yeah, we now, kept guys. control of that for a while. Uh, there was only two of them in there. They're definitely on the side. Yeah, well, Me and Tinfoil are in. Got it. Alright, just hold tight. I'm gonna find new targets. I'm bringing over an MSP for us and I'll park it up hold to tight, the other side. Hold tight, I'm gonna find new targets. Probably Val about to go down and park it in. Right in front of you, medic, at that tree. Get the gun fast. I'm coming from the south, man. South. Tank, did you just shoot at me or was that something else? Something else, not us. You saw that though, right? Nope, oh, we're trying to find him. No idea where he is. Hey, Mushies, check for a body at that tree. Oh, I just killed him. He's dead now. I heard a headshot. Yeah, right on the other side of that tree. Oh shit, I'm gonna come get you up, don't worry. Nope. So as soon as I see my buddy Mushi go down, I hold down the T button, and I slap down an infantry mark, round about where I think the guy is. A sloppy mark is better than no mark, always remember that. Don't give up Mushies, I'm coming. Now you always want to be concerned with the ticket game. That's why I tell Mushis to hold on. Use your syringes. Use your medics. You don't want to spend tickets. Time to go down. Time to go down. Very nice. Good job. Six. They have a spawn point to the south here somewhere. Now, of course, before I get them up, I clear the area, make sure there's no enemy left. All right, they're all dead. Hold on, Mushis. Hold on. We get the medic up, and then the medic's gonna get you up. In this situation, always get the medic up first. What if Mushis doesn't have his syringe left? We won't be able to get the medic up, and the medic has a pile of syringes. Notice that I'll use this downtime to pull out my canteen and take a swig. You always want to keep your stamina up, because your accuracy is always best with your stamina bar at the bottom right full. You want it white and full. I think that bends her or whatever the fuck it was, but... Guys, there's no one on the point. Let's move. Me and my squad just got done rooting the enemy out of the west, so I take a quick glance at my map and see that most of our team and platoon is down in the south, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure there's no enemy setting up a fob or anything going on up here in the north. Just a quick glance at my map gives me all the information I need. Use your binos. As squad leader, you always want to be picking out targets for the rest of your squad. That's your job. I marked the enemy, but with a quick glance at my map, I notice that I'm alone. So I set up for the shot myself. Notice how I set my range at 200 and brace on the tree. Okay. Alright, I'm falling back. I'm gonna throw a rally down right here, fuck it. You rally up. Alright guys, I'm back at my radio if you get... Oh shit, they just blew up our MSP. My squad is finally starting to somewhat rally together, so let's get them on the move. I smell death in these woods. Hey Tiger, there's an MFP in front of you. There's nothing in front of us? I got him. 
There's another, there's another. Artillery there's another. those infantry grouping. I noticed my teammate left, so I want to kind of favor the right in the flanking maneuver and try to catch the enemy in a crossfire. Sorry, friendly, whoever I killed. Is there a bomb over there? Uh, so there's enemy infantry just running around back here. Mark, mark on the course. Call out when you drop artillery, you just killed my fucking squad. I did just call it out. Enemy tank is you hard to. Where's the point? Enemy tank, he's the point. Roger, so a squad just walked into friendly artillery. Shit happens. In this situation, just try to keep the peace. Alright, we're yeah, getting stretched out. Yeah, I called it in Mark for you before it even started. It's not your fault, man. MSP down, MSP down. However, I didn't really notice it either. Sometimes you gotta repeat yourself, especially about artillery. But it's all good. I mean, we should be checking our maps. Alright. Sorry about the two team kills, whoever they were. No big deal. Yeah, we got infantry stragglers right. just running around back here. Someone blew up my uh, command car right next to me. They're going to be coming from the south. Or let's check out this, whatever this is marked over here. Back us up, tank. We'll protect you. I'm going to see what this infantry mark is. I noticed an infantry marker pop up in the east. And we're in perfect position to flank, so that's what we do. Ooh, I see a bunch of them scattering in that uh, field. In the trench right in front of us. On me, guys. Try to get to me. Try to get to me, guys. We're going to move up this uh, bush line. Watch the spread. Watch the spread. Yeah. Sorry, one sec. Someone just shot me. Blew up. Literally, Sapper ran up and just fucking suicide bombed my car. So, I got to find a radio. On me, guys. On me. On me, on me, on me. Let's go. Dude, there's a squad on point 32 in those trenches. Squad 7. To, to the fucking east of you, Squad 7. Tank, tank! I know it. Right here, I'm just trying to get as close as I can, but then I notice the second guy turn around and see me. As I mentioned earlier, Periscope Games, the Postscriptum developers, graced me with three Postscriptum game keys to give away to my viewers. So if you have any friends that have been eager to jump in and can't afford it with the crazy world we live in right now, uh, just tell them to tune in. I'll be giving away one key per video when Chapter 3, The Invasion of Normandy, releases. Thank you everybody for watching, and of course stay tuned, we'll have some more tutorial videos rolling out, how to command, uh, more on how to squad lead, of course uh, we'll cover logistics, the whole nine yards, so uh, definitely stay tuned, because April 23rd, the shit is going down. Anyway, until next time, y'all be good to each other.